I want to introduce you to two of our health experts and jump right into it. Uh, their names are Lorna and Jim. So Lorna is a women's health expert who's been researching and educating on nutritional medicine for over 35 years. She has a master's in nutrition and a second degree in biochemistry. Her passion and commitment to the integrity of evidence-based nutrition inspired her 13 books on topics from hormones and weight loss, inflammatory diseases to beautiful skin and much more. Uh, Jim is a consultant in the dietary supplement industry, assisting companies, A-list celebrities, and well-known MDs in all aspects of product development, including product formulation, scientific validation, and claim substantiation. Prior to becoming a consultant for over 16 years ago, or 16 years, Jim headed up new product development for the world's largest dietary supplement brand, which achieved sales of $5 billion annually. And prior to that, headed up product development for a few of the leading companies uh, in the dietary supplement industry, including 12 fast growth uh, companies in the U.S., as well as the fastest growing network marketing history in U.S. history. Jim is a patent holder as well as published in both scientific uh, journals, along with having taught nutrition at the university level, where he quickly became the number one teacher at that university. Jim also has helped bring one of the more popular nootropics to the dietary supplement industry, as well as helping one of his clients with the prestigious Nutra Award for best new ingredient in the industry. Jim's primary focus is discovering the most clinically effective ingredients, products, and technologies available and assisting his clients in bringing them to the marketplace. Lorna, I'll let you take it from there. Well, thank you very much. We're ex incredibly excited to talk about Zenith today, both Jim and I. So um, I'll go through the presentation. It won't take that long. We've got about 15 slides. Uh, Jim might step in occasionally, and then we're gonna leave lots of time to answer all of the questions that we have. So Zenith is really the most clinically effective weight loss product that's currently on the market. And I'd probably say after you've looked at all of this research and evidence that you think is probably the only uh, clinically effective weight loss product. So Zenith uh, com contains two ingredients, uh, HPMCs, which are three highly viscous non-fermentable fibers. And these three very specific fibers, I'm gonna talk about their research shortly, as well as a combination of a proprietary mixture of six acetylated fatty acids. So these are very potent anti-inflammatory fatty acids. So let's look at the research and uh, this particular research study, it's very unique in the fact that it was actually conducted in the US. A lot of the research studies that we see in the nutraceutical industry are performed in other countries, particularly India or Japan. And, and it's nice when we can actually have a clinical trial that was performed on Americans and North Americans. And uh, the unique part of this study as well is that it was so well controlled everything right down to the fact that the participants had to attend the actual human performance laboratory to have all of their measurements done. They performed that laboratory, they attended that laboratory to also perform the exercises that were associated with this program. And this, all of this increases the validity of the clinical trial results. The other thing that's very exciting about this study that I think is really important is that they use DEXA scan to uh, confirm the fat loss. And most women know DEXA scans in regards to uh, using them for determining if you have osteoporosis or osteopenia, but it really is a gold standard in regards to determining body composition. And so this is quite exciting. And uh, Dr. William Kramer uh, at the Human Performance Laboratory at the University of Connecticut oversaw this particular clinical trial. So there were uh, 22 women in the study. Uh, their average age was around 37 uh, years, plus or minus seven years or so. Uh, it was a double-blind placebo-controlled trial. It was eight weeks long. Uh, the women were randomized, uh, 11 to placebo, 11 to the treatment group. Of course, the great thing about this study for the women who are on the call today is that this study was done in women. And you know, often we don't get enough research that is dedicated uh, to women. And as we know, women have a harder time losing weight. Uh, the study intervention was designed that 
they were eating about 1500 calories a day, which was about a 500 calorie deficit. And they also um, had 30 to 60 minutes of exercise four to five times a week. So this was important because we, we know the diet and exercise uh, works for weight loss. Then we add in the Zenith supplement uh, in regards to the dosage, it's 1200 milligrams were given with the two largest meals per day for a total dose of 2400 milligrams per day, uh, along with the placebo group. Uh, this study was published in the European Journal of Applied Physiology. Uh, let's look at what actually happened in the study over the eight week period. So. Uh, the effects of weight loss uh, using Zenith in the first, um, in the placebo group, they lost 9.2 pounds of weight loss. In the treatment group, the treatment group uh, taking the Zenith lost 20.2 pounds of weight loss over the eight week period, which is more than double the weight loss that was experienced in the group that did not take the Zenith. Uh, the effects of Zenith on weight loss and fat loss, the Zenith group had an initial 10.5% drop in body weight, as well as a 25.6% initial body fat drop. Uh, that's dramatic compared to the placebo group that was uh, far less, almost uh, less than 50% less than the other group. Uh, the effects of Zenith on weight loss and fat loss per month. Uh, the group that uh, in the first month, the weight loss in the Zenith group was 6.2 pounds and the fat loss was 9.2 pounds. In the second month, 14.1 uh, pounds of weight loss and 12.1 uh, pounds of fat loss. The overall fat loss was 21.3 pounds over the eight weeks. Uh, I think that we wanna talk about the fact that the weight loss continued, the fat loss continued and the weight loss was larger in the second month than the first month. Uh, this is a synopsis or a summary of what actually occurred in the study. So the weight loss, the total weight loss was 20.2 pounds versus 9.2 pounds in the placebo group. That was an extra 11 pounds over the eight week period, which is dramatic. And I think all of us will be very excited when we lose that 20.2 pounds. Uh, per week, uh, the group that was using the Zenith lost 2.5 pounds, which was an extra 1.3 pounds compared to the placebo group. In regards to the fat loss over the study period, there was a total of 21.3 pounds versus 10.8 pounds in the placebo group, which is again an extra 10.5 pounds of fat. And per week, the participants in the Zenith group lost 2.7 pounds which was an extra 1.3 pounds compared to the placebo book group. So although we know that diet and exercise works to lose weight, this gave such a dramatic um, increase in weight loss and fat loss in the Zenith group. The waste reduction, and as I said at the beginning, um, people, were, participants were measured and the waist measurement reduction was 3.9 inches versus two inches in the placebo group. Uh, the hip and thigh measurement, the drop was 2.9 inches in thighs and 1 point, uh, 2.9 inches in the hips and 1.2 inches in the thighs. And we're going to talk about the hormones that are changed and serum, serum adiponectin increased by 116% and serum leptin dropped by 43%. And I'm going to talk about why that is so significant and what makes this product so unique. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about leptin, what leptin does in the body and what leptin resistance is so we can really understand how important this is in regards to how Zenith works in the body. So leptin is a key uh, hormone that makes you feel full or satisfied and it's made by your fat cells. Overweight and obese people and women especially have much higher levels of leptin. But what happens is the body becomes insensitive to that leptin. And so I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, leptin resistance, similar to insulin resistance that you may have heard about in metabolic syndrome or prediabetes. So leptin resistance is a hormonal defect. It's now believed to be one of the main biological contributors to obesity. And when your brain doesn't receive the leptin signal, 
it wrongly thinks that your body is starving, even though it has more than enough energy. We call energy basically I like, I like stored it. fat. Yeah. I, mean, oh. I think somebody's went off mute actually. Oh, okay. okay, here's what I'm gonna do, guys. Guys, I'm gonna mute out everyone. I'm gonna mute everyone. Hold on, please. Well, and you don't feel Okay, Lauren, I, I'm going to unmute you and I'm going to have everyone stay, everyone else will stay unmuted. I mean, muted. Lorna, hold on. Okay, and also Dr. Jim, you should get a request to unmute. Lorna, you should be seeing a request to unmute. There we go. Thank I you. Think, I think I'm unmuted now. Thank you very much. That probably makes things a little bit simpler. I'll go back in and, um, and tell you a little bit about leptin resistance. So when your brain doesn't receive the leptin signal, it wrongly thinks that your body's starving. And even though it has more than enough energy stored for future use, meaning more fat stored for future use by the body, this makes a change in your brain and the brain actually changes its behavior in order to regain body fat. And your brain then encourages you to eat more and reduce energy consumption so you don't burn calories effectively. For most people who struggle with leptin resistance, willing yourself, so this is when you tell yourself, I'm not going to eat, I'm not going to eat, I'm not going to eat. Uh, willing yourself to overcome the leptin driven starvation signal is next to impossible. And anybody who has this, uh, this constant urge to eat knows that willing it away doesn't work. And uh, someone sent in a question asking why we would keep taking Zenith or, or why we would keep taking Zenith after we um, have lost the weight we want and should we continue to take Zenith? And the answer is a resounding yes. And the reason why is because if your brain has been dealing with leptin resistance for a while, it will constantly go back to the state of telling you that you're hungry and you should eat. And this is why people gain all the weight back after they've dieted, after they've lost that weight and, and even more after dieting. So Zenith can keep that leptin signal working properly long-term. And I know on your website, you've got a simplified version of, you know, when you eat, leptin goes up, the more fat and the bigger your fat cells are, the higher your leptin goes. And long-term, this causes leptin resistance. So even though your leptin levels might be coming down because you've lost weight, uh, you don't get the message from your brain. And when that happens, you have constant overeating. And another big thing happens is that your thyroid function becomes impaired. So leptin resistance is directly linked to impaired thyroid function, which leads to weight gain, decreased metabolism, and elevated leptin or leptin resistance literally disrupts those thyroid hormones. And for the women on the call, uh, this is truly a big problem because we have an epidemic of low thyroid. Uh, what happens when your leptin is elevated long term is that it stimulates thyroid releasing hormone to increase TSH. TSH is thyroid stimulating hormone. And when your thyroid stimulating hormone levels go up, this is what leads to low thyroid. And if you've ever had a thyroid test, you'll, they'll look at your TSH. And when the number is high, this is when you get diagnosed with low thyroid. We already know that low thyroid leads to further weight gain. Another thing that happens when your leptin levels are elevated or you have leptin resistance is it suppresses the conversion of your T4 thyroid hormone, which is an inactive form of thyroid hormone to the more potent or more active T3. So the connection between leptin and thyroid is really a big contributing factor, especially for women in weight loss. Um, we're going to talk about adiponectin now. So Zenith has a wonderful effect on adiponectin. Oh, and before I go forward, I just want to say that what Zenith does is it lowers your leptin levels naturally and starts to retrain your brain so that it can understand the leptin signal. So that that's the connection with Zenith and it, um, it has a profound effect. And this is what was shown in the clinical trial. So let's talk about adiponectin, which is another key hormone made by our fat cells. 
um, obese people have much lower levels of adiponectin and adiponectin has great results in increasing fat burning. It increases insulin sensitivity. You know, we, we don't want our insulin levels to build up in the blood. This is when we start to develop insulin resistance and of course, prediabetes and diabetes. Uh, adiponectin is also involved in increasing circulation in the body. It decreases inflammation and it also decreases the production of sugar. And a lot of people today are on keto diets. And one of the things that adiponectin does is it decreases the production of sugar that is made from ketone bodies. So most people don't realize that when they go on keto diets, they're creating a lot of ketone bodies, which can be converted into sugars in the body. Um, one of the interesting things that happened in this study is that Zenith more than doubled adiponectin levels. And you wanna have good high levels of adiponectin to have appropriate weight management. So let, let's just do an overview on the takeaways. So we know that dieting and exercise do work. Uh, we know that Zenith doubles the effects of diet and exercise. It doubles weight loss. There was an extra 11 pounds of weight loss over the eight weeks. So 20.2 pounds versus 9.2 pounds. Uh, as well, an extra 1.3 pounds of weight loss per week. So we had 2.7 pounds, which is quite dramatic. It doubles fat loss, an extra 10.5 pounds of fat loss. So that was 21.3 pounds of fat loss versus 10.8 pounds in the placebo group. And an extra 1.3 pounds of fat loss per week. Uh, Zenith also doubles uh, the loss in waist circumference, so 3.9 inches in the waist versus 2 inches, and 100% of the weight loss was due to fat loss, so 21.3 pounds of fat loss versus 20.2 pounds of weight loss. And we really want to lose this fat. You know, fat has its own hormone factory going on in it as well. Overall, uh, Zenith doubles the effects of dieting and exercise. And all of the above benefits are a result of ingesting just two capsules of Zenith twice a day um, before two main meals. So let's look at the caloric intake because um, both groups basically had a non-significant difference in their caloric intake. So the placebo group and the Zenith group. Uh, there's also supporting animal data. There are five studies, one showing that uh, Zenith uh, is a prebiotic that beneficially alters gut microbiome, that the HPMC is a prebiotic beneficially altering gut microbiome. We see a decrease in intestinal permeability, which is uh, leaky gut. There was an increase in bile acids and cholesterol excretion. And one of the things that was found is that um, it could lower cholesterol levels. There's also an increase in AMPK, which is a key anti-aging molecule. And uh, Jim and I have talked about the fact that it's not unlike the way that metformin works in increasing AMPK without the side effects, of course. And it increases mitochondrial biogenesis, which is associated with anti-aging. So these are just some of the other animal data that is present. And Hopefully in the future, we'll continue to do more research and look at some of these areas of interesting health benefit. And so I'm gonna open the floor for questions. And I know that 